I've got this belief that the human mind and body is a pretty amazing machine. And rather than put that into a machine, what about augmenting them with a machine? Just how far or how close could you get to human-powered flight in a completely different reimagined way? I think I've probably always been just on the edge of a crowd. I, I've certainly been very happy to be part of that crowd, but I've always been on the edge of it, wondering what's beyond it. So over the course of a week, uh, I suppose it adds up to around 150k of cycling. That's my cycle commute. I then tend to do one very long run a week, around um, one or two in the morning on Saturdays. Those runs range from 25 to 40k or so. A bit of, albeit unusual time, but a bit of me time just to digest the week. In a strange way, this project started with the question around just what could you achieve by combining the human body, the human mind, and the best of technology? the very first engine that we bought, I strapped it to an old washing machine that we were about to get rid of in the garage. And we cranked the throttle up to about 60% and it nearly flipped the washing machine upside down. So at that point, I was fairly convinced we had something worth playing with. So we went from one engine to then I bought another one and, uh, and then we uh, practiced with the idea of uh, having one on each arm and jumping around and you could feel now, actually they were quite controllable and manageable. They weren't trying to rip my arm off. So it's been a constant process with a, with a wonderful collaboration of people that have really put in a lot of time and effort. First thoughts were, um, really? Uh, what, what do you want to do? What, you want to use four jet engines to try and fly? Um, we, we looked at the physics a bit and we thought, yeah, this could work. Um, so yeah, got on board. When you're actually flying, I would describe it as like learning to ride a bike, but in three dimensions. The strength requirements are pretty significant, so I'm pushing at least 130 kilos of thrust across my body. You have to be prepared to accept that force in a way that's constructive and controllable. That's where the calisthenics training comes in. That's all around um, core stability, stabilizing muscle groups, quite dynamic movements. That basket of unusual training has ended up being kind of perfect. There's no rule book for this and uh, it appears that um, I sort of walked into what works uh, for the Daedalus project. Do you want to be a superhero? <laughs> I don't want to be a superhero. I think this is parallel. I don't think we're trying to emulate that. We are going on our own journey to see what's possible with mind, body and machine. We are now uh, exploring a number of different testing sites in and around London. So this will be, this is really the space where um, ultimately you'll be able to bring your system and fly. I guess I've always been more inspired by things that people haven't done than following other people that have already done something. By definition, you can't go and create something new if you're entirely staying within the boundaries of what the status quo is.